Hello YouTube, inside our little car, because we were sent a box by this company to try out, and it's actually something that Heidi would probably like. Uh, Heidi has a problem with leaving her phone in the car every time she uses the phone to hook up and navigate, uh, you know, using like Waze or Google Maps uh, or her music or whatever. Uh, the Android Auto that's available, you can see this is uh, 2023 Kia uh, Seltos that we have and this is their system here now I also have the sync 3 on our 2020 f350 and they told us that it should work with that um, but we wanted to try it in here and they said it should actually work in here too so we do have Android we have Samsung phones and our phones work fine when we plug them in except whenever we're traveling you know I'm in my truck I have my phone and I have a, another phone a separate phone that we use for navigation and music and everything else and that's connected to our Android Auto however again Heidi's using her phone in here when we travel or like whenever we're going to restaurants and stuff once we're set up somewhere she leaves her phone she forgets her phone up in this little shelf area that they have all the time so it's not a good situation all right so user manual and then the box itself which is a little bit smaller than I thought I thought it was going to be taller I, I just pictured it being like a Roku so it says something about notice on it I'm not sure what that is it looks like it's in Japanese it says the wrong way will damage the products card slot oh they're talking about a sim card if you put yeah. a sim card in there it says a nano sim card or a micro SD cool how is the uh, interface when you plug it in what how does it plug in I'm talking oh there it is okay and it comes with two cables here C to C which we have not so it'll have to be you don't USB have to, to C you don't have to do that one oh well are you sure we want to use this one sure okay it's the same so, I'm assuming that's the power so that's a USB that we have down here to USB-C yeah. and I think they call that a four I can't remember what they call that old one so we'll go ahead and plug this uh, in. I did watch a video on this and it said that this thing that says phone projection that has something to do with it again we'll let Heidi do this so far it's kind of like saying yeah there we go it's, it's doing something that is interesting so I'm, I'm helping Heidi <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, okay, so I went back to the home screen. Yeah, instead of her reading the instructions, which it tells which her to do. Which take me forever because it's so small. It's really small print. So if yeah. there's a disadvantage to anybody that's having a problem reading, it's definitely it's not, small. Yeah. It's not that I can't read. It's just uh, it's too small. So basically, she's going to want to connect to the internet. And so, I'm sure that there's a, that menu. Here? Yeah, I'm sure that's got something to do with it. Uh, settings. Oh. Network and internet. Sure. Now we have a hot spot right now. So that would be. Um, go ahead and. Hot spot? No. No, we're not going to tether. Yeah, go ahead. It's already on. I uh, yeah, it looks like it. And then we'll pick mine. So what we're doing here is we're actually connecting to. The hotspot that I have available on my phone, and that's what Heidi's going to end up doing on hers, is connecting to her hotspot. But we're going to first uh, try it this way. So it says it's connected. You can go back to the home screen. I'm assuming, and now you can try ways. And if it says to use the location, we'll we can do that. To uh, sign in, and we probably don't know our username and our password. But Really, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's all we have to do. So this is it. This is the whole installation. I'm going to tell you guys, I planned on this being much more drawn out than it is. So did I. Um, it's updating the map. It's probably doing a lot of updates. Uh, so we'll we'll come back once it's going through all of its updates. It might even have a, a firmware update possibly. But, man, this is great. It's just this little phone. I'll be honest with you. If it's that easy, I'm thinking about, oops, as I drop it, hopefully it's, oh, 
so can, so it can handle a drop. <laughs> um, I'm actually thinking about uh, paying ten dollars a month to have another line added, so we can uh, have this thing to where we don't have to hotspot it. It'll always be connected. Okay, so we got to play around with this quite a bit, and I'll be honest with you, it's very easy to navigate if you only know a couple of things. So we're going to show you how fast it boots up. Uh, again, my hotspot's still on on my phone, so it knows to look for that hotspot. I'm thinking a SIM card might make its way in there. Also, the other cool thing this has, if you don't know, uh, we'll show you up close. There's a place for an SD card for storage, so you can put quite a bit more stuff on there. Um, and again, the SIM card uh, for your phone goes to the left underneath this tab that my thumb's up against. So the uh, connection, the USB-C connection, even though it comes with a cable, we already have one in here. So Heidi will plug in, and now we'll go through the screen, which we got out of the sun for you a little bit better. And Where was the lights at? Uh, the, yeah, there's some lights on the opposite side oh, okay. that flash, which we just threw them up inside the, uh, up, there's a little shelf that we can set that on in this car. We got rid of the prompt that said, uh, don't drive and play with the phone and all that other stuff. So, so this is what it looks like, uh, when we first boot up, you can see that it's connecting. Uh, it says there that we have the Wi-Fi now. The Bluetooth option is something Heidi's going to turn on on her phone, and she'll turn on her hotspot. But I wanted to have it on my phone just in case, because we needed passwords and stuff, and Heidi has all those on her phone. I didn't want it to, to be a problem. So we logged into Google, which if you look, there's the Google. And this is just like a tablet. This is a tablet for the car. Uh, all the information that comes up. Not as fast as maybe a normal thing. That could be because I'm using the hotspot on my phone. It might be a little bit slow. Uh, it could be the device itself, but I, I don't know that for sure. But if you want to go back, uh, you know, I'm looking for a back button or something. Here's like the home, kind of, that'll bring you to the home. But if you click on the screen here, see that dot that pops up? I don't know if you can tell. There's a dot right in the middle. And that tells you all the stuff that you can do. Um, I don't know what this one does. This one clears your memory, which is really cool. This one right here, if you push that, it clears. Look at that. Cleared 23 processes. That is awesome. Um, it's basically making sure that everything's all right, which I'm very happy about. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Touch that three dots. And um, there's the home screen. Or you can do the back button. Uh, this one here, I think, shows everything that's open, and we're going to close that, close that, close that, close that, <laughs> and close that, and we're back to the home screen. It's just really nice that you, you have this dot that just shows up if you tap the screen anywhere. The microphone, uh, let's see here if this works. Uh, let's see if it does it. I get to allow it to do audio. Oh, that's a Google search. I don't ever use that. We're not doing the assistant. Nope. So anyways, ways. We'll try to see how this works. We did sign into our account. Again, with the uh, Google, we also signed in with our account. Let's see here. I don't think that our, our microphone will work. Um, we'll see what it does. Find Publix. See, the problem is we have a navigation system on this car. 20 results found. Yeah, Can see, save? that's the built-in navigation for this car. Um, ignore this Apple CarPlay. This is still Android Auto. Um, that's one thing that it, it can't straighten up. I mean, even in the dash over there, it says Apple CarPlay when we do that. Um, what I was concerned with, or what I was trying to do, is find a way to navigate. Yeah, there we go. Oh, up here's a microphone. I didn't see it. Yep. Find Publix. So it's a little bit different. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what happens here.
This is all new for us. We want to show you what it's like. All set. Let's go. In 900 feet, turn left on Heights Avenue. So that works. Wow, okay. Pretty so decent there. My suggestion before you hook this up is to have your um, email and your password. Yes, for Google. <laughs> uh, Figure that out before. Ways. That way you won't be frustrated. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's a good point. So let's go ahead and find all these processes that we just opened up. And we'll get rid of them all. Or I could just all. clear all. Wow, I should have done that. There's YouTube. Guess what? We signed into YouTube. <laughs> and there's us. I don't know if we can show our videos or not. Uh, YouTube Studio. But this is just like, uh, uh, oh, wow, we can install that too. That is cool. This is really cool. I, I, I'm really fascinated with the fact that this is a tablet now. And I was sitting, as you guys know, with Heidi having that surgery in the uh, emergency room, or I should say the hospital parking lot, and I couldn't watch any videos. I, I just couldn't watch anything. This is a gentleman that we subscribe to. I haven't seen much of his videos recently because we just haven't. Well, hello guys, it's Jim the PA Woodsman. Wow, it's kind of cool to down here in my shack. Kind of uh, different hearing that, huh? <laughs> like surround sound. Turn on accessibility controls. Yeah, yeah. It's like she said, it's like surround sound in here. Let's go ahead and do this again. Clear all. That is fascinating. So you can add whatever you want on here, um, and it comes with quite a bit of bloatware, I guess you could say home I guess that's there okay got it so that's one of these things that's what this is to go to home that's to clear off any processes that are running um, let's see here this is our contacts it looks like right, from what I can gather that's contacts yeah no one is in your speed dial yet which that's fine we don't really need that and those are file that's the like if you're trying to get rid of your files you know how many apps you have open or how many applications your back button your back button and then your home screen I don't know that's pretty much it now you have Google Maps in here which we don't really use that there's some other things too but I don't know um, the app the link is going to be down below for this thing uh, if you want to try it out I think that this is pretty cool uh, the best thing is, is Heidi can not have to worry about losing her phone because she leaves it out normally, like in her lap there, you can see, <laughs> or it's just laying over here. But this can be just put out of the way and you don't have to mess with it. I think that's pretty cool. Awesome. What do you think about it? Would would you suggest the purchase? I definitely would because um, I, like he says, I, I usually have it in my purse or right here. Not that I'm texting or anything whenever I'm driving down the road just to have it but now you can answer your, all your phone calls you can do um, minimal stuff without a sim card yeah but phone the most important thing is is ways I think you still do hands-free calling if oh. we were to have your phone connected with Bluetooth right uh, which we don't again this is connected through my hotspot so I don't know I I, I think, think this is worth idea. it I mean if not you have to have another phone Right. That you can leave in your car. Like, um, when we were, when I was following you the other day, uh, I did have the camera, but I wanted to take a couple pictures. Well, my phone's down here hooked to this little short cord, yeah. so I can't, I couldn't take any pictures. I mean, I could unplug it, but by the time we were already gone, we were stopped at a stoplight, I wanted to snap a couple pictures. Right. And I couldn't do that, so. Okay. I, I definitely, I believe it's definitely be worth it worth it okay Heidi seal of approval <laughs> so it's down below guys if you want to pick this thing up or take a look at it links are in the description